hi welcome to my channel beauty bee today and today i have a diy video on how to make this choker right here and the black one and this video is in collaboration with my sister nana she is very creative and without her i would have never been able to um make this video we had a lot of fun making this video for you guys i really hope you guys enjoy watching this video and so less talking and more action so let's get started so these are the things that you will need you're going to need two cones and suede lace and it's going to be your preference on how long you want it mine was about 60 inches long and you're going to cut the tip of the suede lace with your scissors on an angle and then you're just going to make a knot at the very bottom right there and you're going to do same thing repeat the process knot again and voila you have your choker and it's all done nice and simple right uh, so mine I made it about 60 inches long so I can wrap it around my neck uh, like three times and here I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it on and it's very simple one loop one more and then you just make that little knot through the bottom bring it over make it as tight as you need it it's a personal preference you want it loose you make it loose you want it tight then you make it tight and there you go it's all done and I think it looks very pretty very sexy things that we're gonna need for the leather choker you need gorilla glue if your velcro does not come with glue you will need a ruler your pen and this piece of um, leather we got it from Marshalls in the section where they have all the leftover pieces uh, we bought a small bag and it came with this um, piece of leather and yeah so you just measure the length make sure you measure your neck and then based on that then however loose you want it you don't want it to lose either so just make sure it's not too tight and make sure you can wiggle it a little bit and then you're going to leave one inch extra you're going to leave the one inch extra for the velcro half on each side of the end of the choker and I will show you in a little bit so right now I'm just measuring I want mine to be three quarters wide and mine had to be um, I don't remember exactly but it was like 12 uh, oh it was 12.5 in length so I had to leave a one inch extra always remember leave your one inch extra for the velcro so measuring so that I measure my three and a half quarters and wide and then the 12.5 plus so 13.5 in length and then you're just going to grab your scissors and go along the line the pencil line or pen line that you drew and just be very careful try to make it as straight as you can you can also use a blade that they sell at Michaels but if you don't have the blade the special blade then it's no problem you can use the scissors like I did and you just have to you know make sure that you make it as straight as you can so it looks nice when you have it on your neck So there I have it and so I'm just looking and I if you can see it looks a little bit fatter in the center so it's wider so that means I didn't cut right so I'm just gonna go again and try to make it straighter so it can look nicer so let's see where did I miss it's right there in the center I need to cut a little bit more and be very careful when you do this that way you don't because you know it's better to cut little by little than you cut too much and then there's nothing you can do 
so I'm going right on the black pen line that I drew and to try to make it as straight as you can I mean if it's a little crooked it's not gonna be able it won't be noticeable you know but if it's really crooked then yeah you have to try to make it as straight as you can and then I think it looks good now so now what I'm going to do is measure one more time make sure that I leave my one inch extra for the velcro do not forget there's my one inch extra so now I know where to cut exactly voila and here too make a straight so I'm going to measure on both ends of my leather choker and measure half inch so half and half on each side will make the one inch that I had left for the velcro and I'm just gonna measure my half inch on my velcro and cut it and again if your velcro comes with no uh, no glue just um, use any good glue that you have like gorilla that's the one I like to use so cut the velcro the piece that goes on top and the bottom and you're almost done and this is very simple very easy as you can see but I like to take one extra step and make it more fancier and I will show you how to do that and everything that you need so just put it together bring the other piece try to be very precise and then just put pressure glue it together and ta-da you have a new choker all done by you there you go there it is pretty so it's going to look pretty just like that but like I said I want to take a step an extra step so we're gonna need all of these things right here and I will label everything or I will name everything in the description below so you guys know exactly what we are using okay this is what we're gonna use uh, to make the hole in the leather it's like a leather hole puncher three type of scissors and the charm and yep these are the things and then you will need a hard surface you don't need to have this metal one like I have but you will need a hard surface because you're gonna be using the little hammer to hammer the the little piece that goes in the hole where you have made the hole um, for the jump ring to insert the jump ring so I have already measured you know the center of my choker and I put a little dot with my pen to know exactly where I am going to be um, making the, the whole bunch. So I'm ready. Just find that little dot right there. Squeeze, squeeze really hard and take the piece out and you have a nice round hole. So now we're gonna put this little round piece that I, everything that I bought I buy from either Michaels or Walmart Walmart will be cheaper but you can find everything at Michaels for sure and then you're just gonna take your pliers and try to push the little teeth towards the outside of the hole like you know like if it was a flower and you're twisting the petal towards the outside just like that And then you're going to use the hammer, the round part of the hammer, and you're going to hit it sliding in the sliding down motion. Not straight, but sliding down motion, being very gentle so you don't smash the bottom, and then um, it won't look very pretty if it's all scratched and smashed. But you just keep doing this very carefully, very gentle. And if you have a piece of cloth, 
fabric is better if you put it on the bottom that way you protect um, that's an extra protection for the little um, little ring that we put in the center of the pole and and to flatten that then you use the flat part of the hammer but you always do it very gentle and there it is so we are halfway done so now we just need this I bought again at Michael's and then I'm gonna use this pliers you're gonna grab it just like so twist away from you twist the pliers away from you and then with your two fingers bring the wire forward just like that like a little loop so you have made like a little loop and then now we're just gonna start twisting this metal wire all around it use your other pliers to twist it around we're gonna do this a few times And then when you are halfway, you want to grab the cutting scissors and grab at the very edge. You want to go as low as you can to cut it. So you're going to hold it right there with your two fingers. You're going to hold the charm and the piece of wire because you don't want to cut and then it'll jump and hit your eyes. So you want to be very super careful right here. You make sure you hold the wire with your other two fingers that way it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't hurt anyone and there you have it so with the flat scissors you're going to go around the loops of the wire that we made and just to smooth it out so that it doesn't get caught in your clothes or it doesn't um, or that it's not rough on your skin and just be very gentle when you do this you want to be very gentle so you don't damage the charm or the wire and you just test it with your fingers if it feels smooth now then that means you're done then now we're gonna get the jump ring and grab it with the pliers and you twist towards you to open it up hook the charm in there and then just hook it up through the hole and close it back and make sure it's touching each other and that's about it and you are done there we go I think it's so much for watching i really hope you have enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye